My name is Alex Richardson with Logic. Today we'll be installing 2014 R2 Service Pack 1 InTouch development. I've also already have my install files unzipped. Notice the README and install guide. The README has requirements and the install guide has a more detailed formal installation instructions. Good resources. I launched the setup.exe. I'm put to a decision between product and role based. I like role-based because it's less decisions. It's going to be a smoother uh, installed decision tree for me to go through. System Platform Development Server has just what I need. Even though I'm doing in-touch, System Platform has exactly what I need here. You'll notice it has Historian Client. Even if I don't currently have Historian, I like that this is installed in case I have Historian in the future because it's such a small install. I've already read the license agreement, so I check the box. This is a Windows account for Wonderware to use in the background. Um, it's needed for things like creating shared folders to move files around and other administrative tasks. This prompt is asking me if I want to install SQL Server Express and saying that's okay for small systems, which is what I'm doing in development. Less than 25,000 I.O. Here's a list of things that will get installed. I pull the trigger to install it. Now this install will take about six minutes, depending on your system, but a common system. So I skipped ahead to the finish. I didn't click any buttons you didn't see, but that finish was the next button I had to click. And it's just doing some final configuration. I went through this install as a administrator. It's important that you're in the administrators group. And as is typical with most installs, you have to do a reboot, which I'll be prompted for. And this is the final click I have to do to complete my install. Thank you for watching this video.